Welcome to Electron Line. Now notice the small difference between this integral and the one we did in the previous video. All we did was multiply what's in the parentheses by an x. And you'd be surprised how that small change can make things quite a bit more difficult. So here we have the integral of x times the quantity a plus bx to the n power. And unfortunately, x times dx is not the proper differential of what's inside these parentheses. So how do we deal with that? Well, let's try that same substitution we did the last time. We're going to let u equal what's inside the parentheses, which is a plus bx. And then we can see that du dx is equal to b. Therefore, du is equal to b times dx. And dx is equal to du divided by b. And we su should substitute this and this inside our integral sign. But when we do that, we have a problem. We have nothing to substitute in for x. So how can we do that? Well, we can take this equation here and solve that for x. And that's the trick. So to get rid of the x, we're going to take this here and solve that for x. So we have bx is equal to u minus a, or x is equal to 1 over b times u minus a. And if we substitute this in the integral as well, we might end up with something that we can actually integrate. So let's try. So this is equal to the integral of, so for x we write 1 over b times u minus a times u, because a plus bx is equal to u, raised to the n power, instead of dx, we're going to write du divided by b. Notice we have 1 over b and a 1 over b, that's 1 over b squared, which can come out. So this can now be written as 1 over b squared times the integral of u minus a times u to the n power times du. And now all we have to do is multiply this out and write this as two separate integrals. So this can now be written as 1 over b squared times the first integral would be u times u to the n power, which is u to the n plus 1 power times du minus, we can pull out an a, times the integral of minus a times this, which would be u to the n power du. And now we have those two integrals which, we're easily, which we can easily integrate. So this becomes the following. This is 1 over b squared times the first integral would be u to the n plus 2 divided by n plus 2, the new exponent, minus a times u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1, and a constant of integration. And then we can write that maybe in a little bit more compact fashion. We can then say that this is equal to, so we have 1 over b squared times n plus 2 here, so I have 1 over b squared times n plus 2 in the denominator. That comes from over here, times u to the n plus 2. Minus, because I have a minus here, a over b squared times n plus 1. Times u to the n plus 1. Plus c. Now, of course, we have this result in terms of u, and we should have it in terms of x. And since u is equal to a plus bx, we're going to finally write this as follows. So we still have 1 over b squared times n plus 2 times instead of u, we're going to write a plus bx to the n plus 2 power minus a over b squared times n plus 1, times zeta u, we have the quantity a plus bx to the n plus 1 power, and plus a constant of integration, and this then becomes the result of our integral. Note by just adding one character, x, in front of this, not having the proper differential, we do have to go through a couple of tricks to get to the answer, and that's how it's done.